All right, Kansas City real estate professionals. It's been a couple of weeks now since all the changes have taken effect. And guess what? The world hasn't ended. People are still buying real estate. People are still selling real estate. Buyers are still using buyer's agents. And buyer's agents aren't working for free. Sellers are still listing their homes and listing agents aren't working for free. So, so far, we've been able to figure out how to continue to, to practice real estate here in Kansas City and serve clients. Unfortunately, there's still a tremendous amount of misinformation out there. And uh, even as free, uh, recently as yesterday, I was on Facebook and I saw a post from somebody and I, I just felt compelled to get another message out about this. So uh, the, the, the world that we live in has changed in many ways, but in some ways it's still the same. So what has changed is no offer of compensation in the MLS and we must have a written agreement with a buyer before we show them a home. So for those of you who are out there who are watching this that aren't a real estate professional, understand you call somebody to see a house, we're going to have to get an agreement in writing that explains compensation, how we're getting paid and how much we're getting paid before we can open the door to let you in. That's not your agent being difficult or being challenging. It's just them playing by the rules that somebody else set that we have to abide by. But the one that is probably the most concerning to me is I keep hearing people say that uh, it's against the law to have broker to broker compensation or what we like to call as coupled compensation where the broker takes a, a, an amount of money that they negotiate with their seller client and they use that money to pay a, a buyer's agent for bringing them a ready, willing, and able buyer. Uh, there's this misconception out there that that is illegal or that NAR has uh, passed some rule that says we can't do that. Nothing could be further from the truth. The reality is uh, I'm looking at contracts coming in every day as a brokerage. I see all three of the emerging models come across my desk. I see broker to broker compensation where the broker is paying us and we're signing a broker to broker cooperation agreement. I also am seeing uh, a lot of the offers where a seller has said, uh, yes, David, I want you to list my home, and I understand that using money to incentivize here in Kansas City about 13,000 real estate agents to help me get my home sold is a good idea, and here's the amount, and I want you to tell everybody from the rafters of my house as loud as you can that, that I've got this money out here, and I'm willing to pay one of them if they bring us a ready, willing, and able buyer for my home. That's the model that, that our office is leaning heavily into. Uh, then there's this other model that's out there. Uh, there's no right or wrong. It's just finding a model that fits you uh, that says, look, it's not in my seller's best interest to tell you anything. Just bring us an offer. And again, you have every right to, to have that model. And I think that's the beauty of what we're seeing emerge right now is that there's these different venues or options, if you will, for a seller and a listing agent to collaborate together to determine what is in their best interest. For you as real estate professionals, the hard part's just figuring out which of these models you're working with and what forms you may need in addition to standard forms, if you need an additional form, uh, to make all of that happen. Here at our office, we, we, uh, we're very quick at making custom forms that I really feel like we're in our agents and our clients' best interest. And they did things that we as a company felt like we wanted in our forms. And I think, again, that is the, the beauty of what has emerged from this is you're seeing more individualized way of, of people running their businesses. So now here at our office, we have the option of no amount. If, it, if a seller doesn't think it's a good idea, that's an option for them that we won't tell anybody. We have an amount that a seller could authorize us to uh, communicate to all the buyers out there or buyers agents out there uh, that we are communicating that particular amount that they are offering. Uh, and we even have the ability to do broker to broker compensation uh, because we as an office feel like all three options could potentially uh, come into play for uh, any of our clients at any given point in time. And we wanted to make sure that our agents knew what those options were. But it's important that, that you understand as agents out there in the street that all of those options still exist. And you're going to have to figure out 
what the co-op is doing uh, when you go to show their listings. Uh, some will be one way, some will be the other way, and then getting that information and communicating that back to your buyers is really the real challenge out there. And it may slow us down a little bit, but here's what we know, it isn't, it isn't really stopping us from selling real estate. Real estate's still happening at a very rapid pace, and those agents that are trained and have all the right forms that they need and have been trained on those forms, uh, and that they've collaborated with their broker to, to make sure that they're all on the same page, they're out there crushing it uh, every day right now, uh, helping their buyers win, list, or win the listings, and they're going out there and listing properties. And I just, I'm, I actually am inspired by, why, by what I'm seeing in the marketplace, and that is uh, this uh, multiple models, which I think eventually makes everybody happy and gives sellers more options. It gives agents more options than we've ever had before. And in all honesty, I think it helps the the cream rise to the top in our industry. And we, you know, for, there's some of us in the business who have been clamoring for a while that we need to raise the standards and and get the professionalism up higher. And I think this is a great step in doing so for us as an industry and for the consumers that we serve. Guys, if there's anything I can do for you, if you have questions about this, I'm, as you can tell, I'm pretty passionate about it and I'm fairly educated about uh, what the reality is versus all the drama and the speculation. Uh, and honestly, if you don't wanna trust me on it, go to the National Association of Realtors website and get the facts and it's right there, you can read. They will verify that the things that I just said are very much real. So uh, sometimes social media isn't the great place. I find that it's ironic that you're watching a video here on social media where I'm telling you to get off social media and go get your information somewhere else. But uh, at the end of the day, guys, we're all in this together. Uh, we're all working really hard to help our seller clients and to help our buyer clients continue to buy and sell real estate all across this great nation. We provide a great service to those clients and that has not changed and will not change. If there's anything I can do for you, reach out to me. I'd love to chat.